There are a lot of options when it comes to over-the-counter medications. But what are the seven best over-the-counter meds for your prepper medicine cabinet? In this video, I'm going to show you the seven best over-the-counter medications for that prepper medicine chest. I'm going to tell you the best storage methods, expected shelf life, and the best form of each of those medicines. But what are the seven best over-the-counter meds? Well, let's find out, and we're gonna get started right now. Over-the-counter medications come in two basic types. The first type are symptom relievers, such as cold and flu medicines and Benadryl. These both will give you symptom relief, but they won't necessarily treat the actual cause of the illness. The second type of over-the-counter medication would be those that actually treat the issue, such as creams for fungus. What is the best form of each of these kind of medicines that we're gonna look at for long-term storage? You have liquids, gel caps, and tablets, but there's also capsules. You can break them apart and pour the powder or whatever it is out. But which one's the best for long-term storage? The best is gonna be the tablet. So since this type are the best type for long-term storage, what are the best storage conditions? The best storage conditions are gonna be like your storage foods. Cool, dark, and dry. So for the longest storage, cool, dark, and dry, and tablets. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The seven best over-the-counter medications for your prepper medicine cabinet. These are in no particular order. It's not the best, the second best. First is a cold and flu medicine. And yeah, you can see these are gel caps, soft gels. I didn't get the tablets. Next time I will. The second of the seven, ibuprofen for pain relief and fever reduction. Now I know a lot of you are gonna say, what about Tylenol or acetaminophen? Or what about old-fashioned aspirin? Or what about Aleve? For us here, ibuprofen is our first choice. And in this video coming up, I'm going to go into the details about why ibuprofen or why Tylenol or why aspirin or why Aleve or whatever. The third of the seven, Pepto-Bismol or a generic alternative for nausea and a variety of digestive issues. Number four is an anti-diarrheal medicine. The drug in this one is Lopiramide. I think I'm saying that right. Lopiramide HCL. The brand name, most the most common brand name would be Imodium. Right now, diarrhea is an aggravation for the most part. But in the SHTF world, if you can't stop the diarrhea, it can lead to dehydration severe dehydration and go further from there. Number five, Benadryl. It's for allergy relief, but it can also be used as a sleeping aid. Not medical advice. Do your research before you use it for such. During an SHTF event or the aftermath, a lot of people are going to be eating foods that they normally are not used to eating. We all hear all the prepping channels say stock or store what you eat. We all know most of us put up things that we don't eat on a daily basis. All the dried goods, wheat, rice, beans, we eat them sometimes. But for those of us who don't eat such on a daily basis, when it comes to the time that you have to, you may have some digestion problems. That's what these are for. There's a lot of them, they're cheap. Be sure that you got this in your medicine cabinet. Last but not least, fungal creams. Athlete's foot and similar types of issues. In the SHTF times, you may not be bathing as often, you may be working, getting sweaty, you'll be hot. It's gonna be far more likely to have fungal issues. This one, Clotrimazole cream. I know I didn't pronounce that right, but there it is. And there are other fungal medications as well. There are the seven best 
over-the-counter medications for your prepper medicine cabinet. There are many other over-the-counter meds, but in my opinion, for my household, my family, these are the seven best. So what do you think? What did I leave out? Tell us in the comments. So how long can you store your over-the-counter medications? Well, I'm going to give you three resources and what they say. I'll put links to each of them in the description below. You can check that out for yourself, and you should if you're concerned about it. Yes, I have my laptop here. It's from the Harvard Health Publishing Harvard Medical School. What do they say? Most of what is known about drug expiration dates comes from a study conducted by the Food and Drug Administration at the request of the military. If you've done any research into this matter, then you're familiar with that report, more than likely. And it goes on to say, with a large and expensive stockpile of drugs, the military faced tossing out and replacing its drugs every few years. What they found from the study is 90% of more than 100 drugs, both prescription and over-the-counter, were perfectly good to use even 15 years after the expiration date. Here is the second. It is from Insider, and again I'll put the link in the description. They got their information, it says this, Insider, talk to medical experts to find out how long you can keep using some common medications after opening them. In most cases, the expiration date on medication doesn't mean what you think it does. The expiration date on the packaging of over-the-counter doesn't necessarily reflect when the product expires. That date is the date after which full potency cannot be guaranteed by the manufacturer. Emergency medicine specialist Dr. Jack Springer told Insider. Studies conducted by independent researchers and Food and Drug Administration and the Food and Drug Administration have found that common drugs retain nearly all their potency many years, doesn't say how many, but many years after the posted expiration date. There are some exceptions, which include liquid medications, that's why we don't want to get the liquid versions, and some antibiotics, which are not over-the-counter medications. A third resource for you to look at, which will again be linked in the description below, comes from, it is U.S. News, but it is the health section, and it quotes a 2012 study in JAMA Internal Medicine. And in this study, they looked at the stability of a cache of long expired prescription drugs discovered in their original unopened containers. Most retained at least 90% of their potency. Catch this, some up to four decades, not four years, four decades past their expiration dates. So there's three resources for you to, to work with if you want to know more precisely how long you can keep them and they'll be safe to use and work as they're supposed to. Do your own research on expiration. So thank you guys for being with me. I do greatly appreciate each and every one of you. We're nearing a thousand subscribers. I'll have an announcement about that. We're going to do a giveaway when we hit that thousand subscriber mark. So be sure to stick with us. And if you're a viewer, thank you, but subscribe so you can be in the running for the giveaway. Until I see you the next time, shalom. A quick disclaimer, I am not Dr. Prepper. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I am not giving you medical advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm sharing with you what I'm doing here with my family on this particular topic. If you have any questions about anything you see in this video, about any over-the-counter medications, or any other kind of medications, please talk to your doctor and or your pharmacist.